Well, this June, fast forward, will mark 50 years since the Cuyahoga River caught fire. With a lot of hard work and regulation over those five decades, the river has been reborn. Recently, the Ohio EPA published a report saying that fish from the Cuyahoga are now safe to eat. Photojournalist Carl Bachtel has details on what may be Cleveland's greatest comeback story. The gulls along the Cuyahoga in the flats sound happy as well they should. The fish they eat have been designated safe for consumption. That goes for us too, just in time for fish fry season. The fish consumption advisories for the Cuyahoga River are no more stringent than nearby rivers like the Rocky River or Lake Erie. For decades, the Cuyahoga was a dumping ground for industrial waste. Today, it's a haven for wildlife and recreation. It's taken a lot of hard work. Now with um, more dam removals happening on the river itself, then the connection of the fish living in Lake Erie, they can get upriver and um, spawn. The Ohio EPA advises one meal per month of fish from the river. For many, though, the thought of frying up some perch or bluegill or crappie from the Cuyahoga is just too much to bear. I can't blame them for that. And, and I think it is important that we remember where the river came from so that we don't take it for granted and kind of backpedal. Another step towards a clean, healthy Cuyahoga River. In Cleveland, Carl Bachtel, Channel 3 News. You have to have a license to fish, but the Ohio Department of Natural Resources is hosting free fishing days when you can fish without one. This year, it's May 4th and 5th.